because the conversation was so good, I needed to bring this onto the podcast. And come on, who doesn't love a good bonus episode? So from my IG Live, I bring you the bonus goods. Check it out, and I'd love to hear your thoughts afterwards. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I like your background. So fancy. Right? It pops. It really pops. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. It's good. And it's, well, we're going to talk about this, but it's International Happy Day and like seeing it just. That's what I said. I messaged my whole team. I'm like, do we have anything going up for International Day of Happiness? And no one responded. I was like, they're like, you, you're the happy one. (laughs) I'm about to be the happy one for everybody. I love it. Yeah. Well, you know, today, what a cool day that the podcast is launching. Our episode is launching and it coincides on International Happy Day. (laughs) Right. It's almost like we planned it. Not quite, but maybe. Yeah. I know. I feel like the universe worked very nicely with that for me. And I feel like I need to change my background. Like mine looks so blah compared to yours. (laughs) You can't even say I'm wrong. <laughs> no, 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 I can't. But, but you know, that's okay. I can make yeah. mine worse though. If you want something different, then we it, we can. Well, in the spirit of International Happy Day, we should just keep it. We'll keep you it, go. you know. There and you I'll go. Hey, neutral colors are always in, as they say. It is. Yeah, there it, we go. it works with my hair color, you know. See? Neutral, <laughs> yeah. co- we're good to go. We found our yeah. neutral, we're, we're there. I love it. I love it. Well, Jarek Robbins, everybody, thank you for being here. You are a best selling author. You're yep. obsessed with success and helping others achieve success in their own life. You're That's a performance right. coach. You are the president and chief chief operator. No, you're the Strategy. chief yes. yep. officer at Success Enterprises, which is a, an incredible success magazine with all yep. kinds of goodness around business and health and wellness. So you should definitely yep. check that out. And we got to have a chat and on the podcast that launched today on the Freedom CEO. And if you haven't gone to download that yet, you absolutely need to, because Jarek and I really dive into the goods around success and achievement and I'm going to tell you, you need a notepad for this one. You really brought the goods in that one. There was a lot of like, oh yeah, that's good. I got to, I got to write that down. I need to go back and listen to that again. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you for being a part of that series. And I want people to go listen to that. And I thought because today is International Happy Day, right. we could just go out and chat about that for a little bit because that totally. can be a hard topic for some people thinking about happiness. And I know that you definitely will have some insights on how do we achieve happiness in our life? What does that look like? And what's that look like for you? Totally. So happiness is such a weird thing for people to go after. Mm -hmm. Um, And there's certain moments of life where they feel it more than others. And, And you can use happiness, you can use accomplishment, you can use, I like joy, the feeling of joy, the feeling of, of love, like there's certain kind of vibrational elements that you move up and down the scale. Let me see if I have it real quick. I'll show it to you. Sure. Um, but it's this concept of there's vibrational energy. And a friend sent me this. It's this thought of different emotions and energetically how they move up and down. Mm. And so if you look at kind of boredom is an in-between. When I hear someone tell me they're bored, I don't know what to say. I'm like, you realize how much life there is to go live? Like, There's so much to experience and see and do and feel. Wow. Like, How in the world have you decided to be bored? And what they're usually saying is I just haven't made a decision. Mm -hmm. Because I always ask people, what's the difference between boredom and relaxation? What do you do? You sit on the couch, you stare at the ceiling, and you do nothing. Right. Some people call it relaxing. Some people call it boredom. I'm like, well, what's the difference? The only difference is someone made a conscious decision that said, I'm going to relax, which allowed them to then actually enjoy the experience. Yes. Versus the other person says, oh, I feel like I should be doing something, but I'm not doing it. I don't know what to do. So, oh, I'm just so bored. 
They didn't make a decision to enjoy it. Therefore, they sit there and actually feel, if you look down, pessimism, yeah. frustration, impatience, irritation, doubt, worry, sometimes rage, jealousy, hatred, insecurity, guilt, and powerlessness. Yeah. It's like, well, shit, that was one journey on the couch. Someone just went through emotionally just because they wouldn't make a decision to enjoy themselves. Isn't that the truth? But it happens. Yes. I've watched people do it. I've watched okay. people sit down on the couch and go, oh. And then stuff starts rotating through their head and the story goes on and they get frustrated and things start spiraling and they just go on this downward spiral yeah. versus you say, you know what? I'm going to go sit down, do nothing and enjoy myself for 15 minutes. Yes. And all of a sudden the positive expectation shows up. Someone goes, okay, you know, that sounds nice. I finally get to relax. That sounds good. And then there's contentment. You're sitting there actually enjoying yourself. Yes. And then the belief, the hopefulness of like, wow, this is kind of nice. It's it's great. I mean, parents, it's great to have a moment to just be and not have to do something all the time. <laughs> yeah, Optimism sure. kicks in. Maybe this will last. Enthusiasm. Yeah. I'm starting to feel better. There's happiness. Yeah. Ah, it's part of the journey up. So there's mm-hmm. happiness. Then passion. Oh, I've thought of something I want to go do. And then eagerness. Man, I want to go do it. Like, I can't wait. Man, yeah. then love that feeling of wow, I actually I'm looking, I'm enjoy, I'm enjoying the thought of wanting to go do it. There's this thing where people say there's no difference in the chemicals of your brain between doing something and thinking about doing it. Huh. And so I don't know about you. I'm gonna watch your face for this because it, it's usually telling. Okay. At some point in your life when you were single, mm-hmm. was there ever someone that caught your attention. Yes. <laughs> Which and, is now I am single right now. <laughs> okay. And this person caught your attention. Yes. And there was kind of a vision of what could be. Mm-hmm. And it, I mean, the upward spiral started to happen, like optimism, hope, excitement, okay. maybe love, like, whoa. Yes. And then did you ever have the reality of the situation unfold and come home and be like, eh, that was nowhere close to what I imagined. (laughs) Totally. Like literally. Yes. (laughs) There you go. So my friend's mom told me that she goes, when I was a a young girl, I was traveling the world and I I got to, I think she was in Sweden or somewhere um, tall, good looking, you know, blonde haired men with blue eyes. And she sat down at the bar and she looked and saw like, the dude from the movies, like yeah. golden hair, stunning blue eyes, sharp, strong jaw and features. And she was like, wow, like I want to meet this guy. Like, <laughs> like giddy. And, and she's like, oh my God, I can only imagine like, oh, like imagination spinning. She's going up the spiral. Like everything's there. The guy comes over and smiles and goes, hi. And she's like, ruined it. Ruined the entire thing. Ruined it. Like, she's like, I was imagining like this deep, booming voice of a man to come yeah. over. And he yeah. was like, hi. And she's like, oh, dead, done, gone. Fantasy's out the door. And I started laughing. And I'm like, isn't that wild how the imagination works? Totally. She it is. created yes. the entire situation in her mind before anything actually happened. It's why people say, sometimes I went back to like school dances. Sometimes it was more funny to look forward to it and get ready for it than it was to be at it. Actually at it. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Same thing with vacations. I've seen people pissed off at each other on vacations. Yes. So it, it's easy. Go to the baggage claim and watch couples get off a 12 hour <laughs> flight. I mean, yeah. you want to see people pissed at each other. Yeah. They're irritated about people breathing near them. Like yeah, it's ugh, true. just, and you watch them and you're like, Y'all look forward to this trip for years. Yes. Why is it that you're here now in the moment and not enjoying it? You're not happy. Yes. What happened? You were very happy looking forward to it. You were super pumped planning it. You were super excited getting on the plane and leaving to go do it. Yeah. Why is this different emotion showing up? And yeah. what's interesting is the concept to come back to this little image. All that happened was they were they allowed which direction they were spiraling to go out of control. Totally. There's something called a mood meter. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It's an app that says, how do you feel right now? Mm -hmm. I feel high energy. And then you take your finger 
Do I feel lively, motivated, elated, exhilarated, ecstatic, festive, upbeat, cheerful? I'm going to say inspired. And then it says, what are you doing? I'm working. Capture what feels. I'll just put something so I can move on. And it says, do you want to stay this way or do you want to shift? And I go, ooh, let's say I want to shift. And it says, ah, say the word calm and ease yourself to a few a few times. The quieter you become, the more you can hear. So it literally then coaches you on how to shift the emotion you're feeling in the moment. Or it says, good job. Congrats. If you say, I want to stay this way. And I so it's this that. thought. Happiness is part of the spectrum of this spiral you can move through. And then there's tools that can help you actually gauge where you're at and yeah. choose consciously to elevate or or de-escalate depending on what's going on. And so this concept of happiness, I think, is a choice. Yeah. It's part of the options available. We just need to, one, become conscious of how we feel, two, set an intention of which way we want to go, and then three, be willing to do the little steps to actually move up or move down. Not everyone wants to go up all the time. Um you know, that's why I say variety is the, the spice of life. Like you need different ones, not the same sure. stuff every day. If you woke Absolutely. up and you were just happy every day, people would be bored out of their minds. Totally. And okay, Jared, tell me if people want that app, because that's a really cool app that you just shared with us. What What's it called? That they Mood Meter. Go? Mood Meter. Mood Meter. It's free. Cool. I think. I love that. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, it is so awesome to spend like 15 minutes with you on international happy day. And again, it was so cool that it just coincided. Our episode is amazing. People are already downloading it lots. Um, and I'm really, really excited to just share it with everybody and appreciate again, you giving me your time and also helping to inspire so many other people around the world. So Same. I hope they love it. Go download the episode. Thanks, Jarek. Thanks for tuning into the Freedom CEO podcast. If you got value out of today's show, I would love for you to leave a review as it will help my show reach other people as well. You know what to do. Download this episode, click the like and subscribe button. If you feel like spreading more love, pop over to Instagram and share today's show in your stories. Remember to tag Shane Vidiata and the Freedom CEO. My DMs are always open, so drop me a line. I'd love to connect. Until next time, keep owning your decisions to live a life of freedom. Live a life you love.